I find it interesting how there is an undefined percentage of those who talk about how important individualism is who basically treat Muslims like they're not individuals. Well, you believe in Islam, therefore you're no longer a person. Now, this is never said directly, but it's said in the way that people discuss Muslims. Um, I mean, I'm not a fan of Islam at all. I think it's fucking horrible, but I'm not going to judge all Muslims based on the actions of a very small percentage. Um, so, but yeah, people saying, well, you know, we're all individuals, unless you're Muslim and now you're not an individual, you're just a thing. You know, I, I find that weird. I mean, you, you those of you that do this, um, I don't see you doing this to religious uh, 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 fundamentalist Christians like, you know, Westboro Baptist Church. I don't see you doing that to them. I don't see you doing that to Scientologists who will deny uh, their children uh, uh, life-saving uh, medical procedures and medications and things because, well, the power of the mind. I, I don't see you doing that to them. But you seem to have no problem doing this to Muslims. And you oh, well, you know, they're, it, Muslim, Islam is different. It's, it's, uh, it, it turns everyone that believes in into it into pawns. Well, you can say that, but the same can be said about most religions. You know, well, no, no, Islam is different. It's different. It's different. It's, di you know, you just want to be able to have some common enemy that you can point and say, this is bad, so you don't really have to look at uh, the nuances of so many other things. Um, you know, let's not, let's not try to cut back on extremism. No, no, Islam is the enemy. Yeah, okay. Um, you know, our government has been very careful in trying to make sure that we don't turn an entire religion into the enemy, that we, that we're going more after the extremists, the extremists. But, you know, uh, some of the Trump crowd is in this mode, Islam. Islam is the enemy, and it's like, I mean, some of you don't even have a problem with this idea of a Muslim registry. I'm just like, do you, do you realize how fucked up that is? That is, that, that is a step towards internment camps. And some of you would even argue that we should put Muslims in internment camps, and I'm like, and you don't find that eerily similar to you know, what we did to the Japanese. You don't find that eerily similar to what was done to the Jews. You don't find that eerily similar to that. Or maybe you don't care. Because, well, this time, this time, they're the real enemy. It's, it's just like, really? It's disappointing. I mean, every time there's a war... Uh, we've tended to do this to who the people that we say are the enemy. You know, during the Cold War, it was the Soviets. Um, you know, and I'm reminded of the song Russians by Sting. The fact that that message even had to be put out there, you know, the message in the song Russians by Sting. Um... The fact that it even that even had to be put out there is, is kind of sad. And it seems that we're having to do the same thing now with Muslims. But every time someone tries, you're an, an apologist to Islam. And I'm just like, no, I'm not. You know, it's like some people, well, un unless you say that we should do the harshest things possible towards Muslims and Islam, you're an apologist to Islam. Uh, no, that's bullshit. This isn't some binary issue like this. So, you know, for those of you who claim that individualism is so important, uh, remember to apply that to everyone and not just, you know, certain groups.